An acidified solution of butanone reacts with iodine as shown in the equation here. And you can see that we've got butanone and here is the iodine. We've been told it's acidified, but there's no evidence of H plus in the chemical equation. And that suggests that the acid is a catalyst. Draw the displayed formula for the first of the two products and give the name of that product. Well, the displayed formula shows all of the covalent bonds in a molecule. And what we've been given is a structural formula. So really for this first mark, we're turning the structural formula into a displayed formula. And so we've got one carbon that's got three hydrogens attached to it. And then next to that carbon is a second carbon with two hydrogens attached to it. And then we have a third carbon, but there's no hydrogens on that carbon, but there is an oxygen, but only one oxygen. And so carbon needs to have four bonds. It's going to have another bond to a fourth carbon on the right hand side, but that currently gives the carbon only three bonds. And so that means that there needs to be a double bond between this third carbon atom and the oxygen. And then finally, the fourth carbon in the chain has got two hydrogens attached to it and one iodine. And so I was creating the displayed formula as we were focusing in on the structural formula. And so the displayed formula looks like this. And then we've been asked to name this compound. And so the first thing that we need to do is find the longest carbon chain in this molecule. And there is actually only one carbon chain and it's a chain of four. So this means that we're going to have but as a key part of our name. And when we name the compound, we need to keep the numbers as small as possible. And so first of all, we've got two functional groups really in this compound. We've got the carbonyl functional group in the middle of this chain, and we've got a halogen on one end. So this is a halogenoalkane, but it's also got the carbonyl group. And the carbonyl group, because it's doubly bonded, gets the higher priority. And so that means that we've got our chain of four carbon atoms, which gives it the beginning but, and then it is a ketone, so it's going to be butanone as the core of this molecule. And then we've got an iodine atom, which we need to locate within this molecule. And so the iodine is on one side. So the iodine is on a carbon with position number one. And when iodine is a branch, we recognize that by giving it part of its name. And this would be one iodobutanone. But because butanone typically could have that carbonyl group on either of the two carbon atoms, it would normally be symmetrical. But since we've got the iodine on one end, we actually need to give a position indicator for the ketone functional group. And so if the iodine is on carbon number one, that means the ketone is in carbon number two. And so this would be in full one iodo butan two own. They would probably allow an alternative because this is quite a complicated molecule. We could probably call this 1-iodo-2-butanone, but the one that I've got on the answer line is the preferred response.